The reason I became an MP was because of my dad. He was a Fort Worth police officer. He also worked for Decatur Police and then went to uh, State Police. Growing up watching my dad, he, he was really able to, to help people and inspire people. And so that's something I wanted to do. I called my sister and all I heard was crying, nothing else. My older brother took the phone. He asked me if I was sitting down. I told him I was, I was not sitting down. He told me, Dad got in an accident and he didn't make it. I uh, kind of lost it from there for a little bit. Losing my dad was uh, probably the worst thing ever. He was my um, best friend. I called him for anything and everything. He always had the answer. He could always tell me what to do. And I wanted him to be there so I could call him. You know, when I had bad calls or had questions about law enforcement, because he was well experienced and always had the answer for anything. My dad was honored by the governor of Texas. He was awarded the Star of Texas. You get that as a first responder if you're hurt in the line of duty or killed in the line of duty. This year, my dad's name will go on the National Police Officers Memorial Wall in Washington, D.C. So that wall is just a name of all of the police officers that died in the line of duty. National Peace Officers Memorial Day is important to me because there's a lot of people that, you know, died protecting us. You know, they died protecting us, watching over us, and it's not an easy job, it's a hard job. To me, it's important that we don't forget about them and, and their sacrifice. If my dad was still here today, I'd tell him how much I appreciate him. I, I think he knew that, but I just would want to tell him one more time how good of a man he was and uh, how much he inspired me.